To evaluate the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 1 plus tangent x, we're going to make use of the properties of the definite integral that I have stated and proved in my last video, link in the description. Let's call this integral i, and the use of those basic properties of the integral will make life a lot easier. It will make the uh, integration a lot easier. So I'm going to make use of the first property in that video that I explained. So the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 1 plus tangent x with respect to x is equal to the definite integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 1 plus the tangent of something with respect to x. And what is this something? This is basically that transformation from the x world to the pi by 4 minus x world because uh, pi by 4 is the upper limit of integration here. So we can perform this uh, sort of transformation and the integrals will be exactly the same. So we can write here pi by 4 minus x and all of this is equal to the integral i. So now I'm going to make use of a trig formula. Here I have the tangent of pi by 4 minus x. This is equal to the tangent of pi by 4 minus the tangent of x divided by 1 minus the product of these two tangents. Uh, 1 plus the product of these two tangents, that is. So that's the uh, formula that we're going to use. Now, the tangent of pi by 4, we all know it's 1. So we have 1 minus the tangent of x divided by 1 plus. Again, this is 1. So 1 times tangent x is tangent x. So we're going to make use of this formula and just plug in this relation into our integral. So that means the shape or structure of our integral is now i equals the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 1 plus there was this term, right? So 1 minus tangent x divided by 1 plus tangent x and we're integrating with respect to x, of course. Now, performing some simplification within the argument of the natural log function, we have a uh, 1 plus tangent x plus 1 minus tangent x in the numerator and 1 plus tangent x down in the denominator. So these tangent of x's cancel out and we're left with the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 2 divided by 1 plus tangent x. Now it's time to make use, uh, make use of some of those uh, handy properties of the natural log function or the logarithm function that is. So we have uh, the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural log of 2 and if I want to separate this as a, sep as a different natural log I'm going to have to replace division by subtraction and then the natural log of 1 plus tangent x and uh, I'm just going to write these as separate integrals, right? One term here minus the other term here and the limits are of course 0 to pi by 4. Now, if you look closely, this is exactly the integral i that we started with. So this implies that i equals, this is just a constant inside the uh, integral operator, right? So natural log of 2 goes out, and you're left with pi by 4 out here, minus this integral i here. So this would imply that 2i equals pi by 4 times the natural log of 2, which implies that i equals pi by 8 times the natural log of 2. And as you can see, that definitely deserves a like and subscribe, so be sure to do that. Thank you. See you next time.